All right, thank you all for tuning in. We got a, another one here for you. This is a Hustler Hyperdrive Super Z. Um, the brakes are not working on this thing. And so I'm going to walk through and show you how to do this. Uh, if you haven't already, give a big old dirty thumbs up, hit that subscribe button, and check this out. All right, so take the lug nuts off the tire and you pull the tire off. See all that grass piled up right there? That is going to really affect whether or not your brakes are working because there's an arm that you can't see really in there that's trying to move. And that grass gets caked up in there. It doesn't work so well. So I'm, I've already cleaned out the other side. And here where it's all cleaned out, you can actually see that's a sticking the lever out the control lever out to engage the parking brake so you see it's got to come back so the brakes aren't working and i'm going to show you how to adjust them one of the first things you want to do is you got to get up on jack stands and you got to release i don't even know if i can get the camera in here it was like a You got to release the hydraulic pressure on it and it's this bolt here and a lot of times these bolts will have a hole through them where they might start install a like a little handle to take them loose with but on this particular mower it's 11 sixteenths some of them are 5 8 some of them are 9 sixteenths but you don't have to take it all the way out you just crack it loose you know like a quarter turn or so and that'll allow you to when the brake is off like if you have to roll it say it's broken down let me stick this tire back up on here that was a little heavy all right so you got the lever in, that's the brake off. The hydraulic's disengaged. You can roll it. And I don't have any lug nuts in there. It's gonna kind of fight me a little bit. And then when you engage the parking brake, you shouldn't be able to turn the tire at all. And I've already adjusted this side a little bit. And we'll show you what we did. There is this rod that is right here. There's some sticks out of the way. That rod right there, where it's got the turnbuckle on it. On this one, it's a 14 millimeter. So what you got to do is there's a jam nut here. You got to loosen that. And you loosen that jam nut there. And then you take your wrench and you take it and you might have to take the tire off to get to it but I go up underneath it and tighten it that way. Turn it like you're tightening it. And if this rod here, if it's spinning, if that's spinning when you're trying to adjust it, just put you a vice grip or something on that to hold it still. Because all you're doing is when you turn that turnbuckle is making the length of that rod shorter. It's bringing it together. <clears throat> So that way, when you pull on the handle, it pulls that lever. Get this tire back off. It'll make that lever go further that way. And how you know this adjusted properly is you can't turn a tire when the brakes are engaged. And you may have to do it a couple times. You know, you can do it by hand, um, trying to spin the tire and go and kind of put it on a heel and engage the brakes and see if it'll hold. If it doesn't hold, then you can come back and tighten it up a little bit more. You just want to make sure that when the lever is out, the control lever is all the way out, that the wheel will still spin with that bypass disengaged. So appreciate you checking it out. Hope that helps somebody out.
Till next time.